Without wasting your time, we are going to share top 5 best truck bed extender. The product links are in the description and in first comment. The number 5 on the list is Mockin's Design Cap Truck. Mockin's design cap truck, the main two types of truck bed extenders are U-shaped and hitch mounted. One of the most practical bed extenders is, uh, these are typically made of metal or plastic and are easy to assemble. A truck's parametres can accommodate an extender of this type and keep items secure. It can also flip out onto the tailgate to carry larger items. Users often opt for this style to haul around smaller items hitch mount for versatility a hitch mount extender is adjustable and worked into a horizontal or vertical setting making it suitable for a wider variety of vehicles it has supportive arms to secure longer items and usually connects to a hitch receiver some of these styles are best known for carrying extra heavy loads of up to pounds a truck bed extender provides efficient transportation and helps carry out work by adding larger, longer loads without needing to buy a second truck or van this can be cost-effective and easier in the long run. Here are some other benefits to purchasing a truck bed extender additional. In many industries, carrying large, long, and or heavy items is normal. Having a truck bed extender adds additional space to a truck without comprising. Space buyers can also save on things like fuel costs. The number four on the list is Max Hall Hitch Mount Pickup Truck. max hull hitch mount pickup truck used this extender to transport aluminum boat just over hours on roads was very quick and easy to install and it didn't move at all during the drive the fit does seem a bit wobbly when putting the pieces together but it didn't cause any issues at all once it was all tied down like other reviewers have said you'll need to buy a hitch pin to go with this would definitely recommend and buy again this was an awesome price and seemed to be well built overall i deducted a star as the quality control was not Flawless the shorter square stock in which the arm assembly inserts was not tested for fit the arm assembly would not insert fully due to the internal seam weld of the square stock blocks. The arm assembly see photos the solution was simple the use of a file on the weld. You can also see light rust inside the square tubing as the inside was not painted if you have a file and the prospect of some rust is a non-issue then, this is a great deal, received the extender quickly, quite pleased at its quality and condition, even though it was classed as a used warehouse, deal it allows me to safely carry my stand-up paddleboard, more securely the photo shows in mounted on my Ford Ranger, with the I used bright orange pool, noodle for padding and visibility with a safety flag added. The number 3 on the list is Ericsson Pickup Bed Extender. Ericsson pickup bed extender safely transport loads that extend past the bed of your vehicle with Ericsson's big bed tailgate extender requiring nothing more than inch receiver. The bed extender works with any short bed, truck, van, SUV or other vehicle capable of hauling large loads by increasing the usable space of your vehicle makes it possible to haul longer awkward loads safely no need for a trailer simply slide the bed extender into the hitch adjust the height as needed and it's good to go choose between big bed junior and senior bought this for hauling lumber in my truck while not a short bed i think lumber is a bit too long to haul safely with a this supports the lumber out four feet from the end of the bed or about it can also be flipped and used in combination with a roof rack but then you can't drop your tailgate height is adjustable with pinholes for about of adjustment to find level with you finishes a nice textured powder coat but the inside isn't coated so they could rust over time mine had surface rust inside right out of the tube steel is 
thick enough that it seems it will be strong enough to support the rated, but it is light enough to easily handle knocked down it doesn't take up much space, the pieces do have a bit of slack and wobble around when unloaded, but once loaded and strapped down the wobble goes away. Be advised, loading a couple hundred pounds can delivered way back of your car truck will make your rear suspension squat far more than the same weight in the inside the car bed. Overloading the rear suspension unloads the front suspension and reduces braking and steering. Bigger concern on cars and jeeps with soft suspension than on pickup trucks. Be safe out there. With the high mount option, keep your truck bed empty or full of other stuff while using your big bed to haul long loads on top of the truck cab. The number two on the list is Amp Research. Amp Research, installed in with bed liner index tank solid, cover used tin snips to cut out a small bit of bed liner but could have installed straight through Dremel type tool would work well here if you want a cleaner look follow directions and the extender build is fairly easy have the drill point pre-stamped so no need for cardboard templates provided just holes and the brackets go right on fits great with hard cover adjust the handles for the cover to drop down between the extender and the edge of the bed and there is more than enough room to latch down the cover for use also, super easy to remove the extender if needed cool feature that the straps they provide you with actually lock into the tailgate latch just lift the tailgate handle to disengage the mirror with the, the bed extender makes it very easy to load up sheets of plywood and boards, I just had to be careful to put S at an angle so they don't go out between the bars when I am not carrying long stuff the amp just stays flipped over and makes it easy to just throw stuff in the back of the truck today I put a new wheeled bar back in and it fit just right shock cords and all I had to do was take it for a nice drive in the country no rolling what would I do different if I were I would put the bars closer to reduce the risk that s or fence poles would slide out I have a friend who got me onto this much easier the number one on the list is spurter truck bed extender aluminum Spurter truck bed extender aluminum, I installed this on it Toyota Thunder, it was very simple to assemble installation was easy to, but you have to know what you are doing before you start drilling holes I personally would have liked for it to have came with self-tapping screws instead of the ones that came with it, the screws that came with it are good screws but will strip out against the metal and spray liner I used self tapping screws for the holes, then used the screws provided, it's a good deal, it's the same quality you get with more expensive, brands looks good and easy install I did not completely follow the cut out guide though, I did not use the dotted line for people with bed liners I used the standard line or non bed liner trucks it only gained me roughly but why not I also went ahead and swapped the self tap screw they provided with some galvanized ones so I won't have to worry about then rusting only adds a extra to the build. This is a difficult thing to put together the instructions don't match the pieces you actually get they hang together poorly until everything is tightened up it feels like one of those Rube Goldberg contraptions it took two of us and some emotion to hold it all together so it could be tightened up the brackets that mount on the truck pillars are too wide for my Silverado which challenged the installation process on the first attempt they interfered with closing the rear drop door the tie downs are meant to be engaged in the drop door panel latch mechanisms they have to be tricked into engaging in the mechanisms for the mechanisms to lock closed it does fit yet has to be tried out I will update this on my first use of it 